Hey guys, we're here at Mitz Alloy HQ for a rundown and a walk through their manufacturing facility. Uh, Dean's going to take us through why hey we should choose Mitz Alloy. Hey guys, so benefit of going with Mitz Alloy and why should you go Mitz Alloy? We are an Australian manufacturer at the end of the day. Everything is cut, fabricated, powder coated, all here on site. You're keeping manufacturing in the country, which is a big, big, big plus for us. Um, also, the added benefit of having the lifetime manufacturer's warranty that we offer with our systems. Any component that is fabricated here in Newcastle, you have peace of mind for as long as that build is staying with you. Awesome. Well, uh, stay with us, guys, because Tim's going to take us through the whole process from front to back. So follow us. Thanks, Cheers. guys. So this is our manufacturing facility. 98% of our products are manufactured on site. So we do everything from acquire raw material through to paint it, cut it, fab, yep. assemble, the whole bit, 12 volt electrical. Uh, all designs are done in house here. So we've got a full design and engineering team, full sales team. We've also got our store in Brendale as well. So we've got installation there. And then with you guys, we've got installation across the country as well. So, Sweet. Yeah. So basically this is where the magic starts. Uh, we turn over about four and a half tonne of raw sheet aluminium a week. Uh, it all gets processed through our six kilowatt Yahweh laser. Uh, we've had this for around 12 months. We used to use CNC routers, they were slow. We ran three routers 24 hours a day, six days a week. So right. now this machine gave us the capacity to cut the same amount of material in about a day and a half, two days. Wow. Yeah. It takes two guys to run it, where we used to have a team of about nine guys running the cut shop. And we've also put in this Weber deburring machine as well. So all the parts get deburred, get run through that machine. Uh, that makes them tactile. It also prepares the material for powder coating as well. So it gives it a bit of a texture, bits and pieces. Sweet. Um, one of the brilliant things about the laser is we can actually add a lot more features that we couldn't do with the, uh, with the routers. With the routers, they were slower, so we didn't take as much material out of it. We didn't make as ornate parts, but now we get really precise precision with this machine. It's been brilliant. We've got our press side of the business over here. We're running the same machines, the Yahweh machines for the press brakes. These are probably the workhorse of this whole facility. Um, they are never short of work, ever. <laughs> they go flat out all day. Yeah, they would. So we're entering into the fabrication facility. We actually have 16 welding cells. Uh, a few of those cells are actually split up into two, so you can have a hell of a lot more production than we're currently building out at the moment in here. Um, we've got a lot of room for expansion and growth, especially on this site being so big. Uh, everything is basically welded, finished, checked here, and then QA'd, and then all runs through our ERP system, and then heads on through to powder coat. So we basically run a, a single piece flow manufacturing style through Mitz Alloy um, trays and canopies. A lot of our standard dual cab stuff gets built into inventory and then we pull from that inventory. And then uh, a lot of the bigger trucks, the US ones that are a little more customized and maybe a bit different each week uh, come through as a particular job card. Um, we're heading into powder coat now. We built this powder coating facility. I'll tell you a little more about it. This is our full powder coating facility. We've got a little under a thousand square meters of powder coat in here. We've got a six and a half meter batch oven. So basically we can push about three jobs through in one go. Uh, and it's all on a rack and rail system, track and rail system on top here. And myself and our lead engineer Jacob developed and fabricated the whole thing. It was a hell of a job. <laughs> We gave, we gave ourselves about a week to put it together and about three and a half weeks later, we finally uh, put the last <laughs> weld on it and rolled something around it. So yeah, wow. it's, um, it's dramatically increased our outputs, uh, having this facility on site and, and it's gave us a lot of quality controls as well. Our old facility was like less than 100 square meters and it was running 24 hours a day. So yeah, now right. it's just back to the eight, 10 hour shifts. It's good. Sweet. Basically the way it works is we have a pre-treatment side and we've already deburred most of the parts so they've got a linish finish on them. We pre-treat them, capture all of that material and then basically run it through the oven. We do a warm bake so we dry off any of the water and then it goes into the powder coating booth itself. Powder coating is a pretty simple process and not super labour intensive. They'll flick the powder on and then it'll run into the oven and get a bake. It runs the bake for about 15 minutes and it comes out as the finished part. It takes about 20 minutes to cool down. 
and it's good to go. This is our assembly section or assembly shed and warehouse as well. So basically in here we have all accessory assembly, 12 volt assembly. Uh, we assemble the trays and canopies, bring them together as a package. Yeah, we bring all the parts together as a package in here and then it heads down the back to freight itself. So all, all assembly happens in this section here. So this is where the builds actually come together as part of the work order. A lot of the subcomponents, locks, latches, gas struts, um, hinges and all those bits and pieces, we've sourced directly from manufacturers. We don't make, none, no one makes that product in Australia. So we've gone over to Asia, had a look at all the best factories and chose what we want and then cherry picked how we want them. Yep. So a lot of the stuff is unique to us and is absolutely fit for purpose. We're not sort of chasing it around. Yeah. 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 On something like that, have you ever thought about making that just for a Rhino or a Yakima platform for a car that's not got that, one of your trays on? That 100%. So the whole idea with our, yeah. <laughs> the whole idea with our product line is if we can build a platform yep. and you can bolt other people's accessories into yeah. it. In Australia, it's not as common for companies to go, here's our CAD source data, develop internal layouts or accessories for our products. But yep. in the US, it's like, you, you'll get these other second like fit out companies and bits and pieces that want to produce product for your platform because that way you sell your platform, they sell some of theirs. So yeah, I, I, I really something like, like that. that would be brilliant. Yeah, and then all the accessories that we do have, especially around like the the awning brackets and bits and pieces, can go straight on to those yeah. to those different Sweet. bits and pieces. Yeah. yeah, it's really good. Yeah, because a lot of people want a shower tent on their wagon yep. and they don't have a tray, no. so and that just makes it a lot easier. So we pretty much exclusively work with the Red Arc product these days. It's an Australian made product, majority of the guys down in Adelaide do a fantastic job. The quality is second to none and their service is impeccable, like it's brilliant. So partnering with them, you've got a really good 12 volt solution. Um, and then we build all of our own 12 volt panels. So we take their components, design it to suit our product and make sure that you've got the best bits. Uh, even down to like our Anderson plug holders, we actually 3D print these in our sister company um, and they're fit for purpose. Everything's designed to suit our particular products. These are just some of the carpets that go in our drawer systems and pantries. Um, everything's laser cut, logos are etched in. There's a lot of fine detail that you might just miss if you were just glancing over it, but we've thought about just about everything hopefully. <laughs> One of the key things with our platform is we build a tray that basically suits majority of the dual cabs on the market. So we just have what we call a fitting kit or a mount kit that goes with that vehicle. Um, we basically build all that together and then select your tray, pull it through the system and away it goes. This is where we dispatch the majority of our work out of as well. So, all right, did I miss anything? <laughs>